Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to model a wine glass using Modo. So uh, first of all um, uh, I created a new project and uh, then I'm going to go to my model layout and then I'm going to click on add item here at the top and I'm going to choose backdrop item and um, then I'm going to click on image here on the side to load my image go to add clip load image and um, then I just downloaded this uh, image of a wine glass from Google Images and I'm going to click on open. Okay, once that's loaded, you can just click on this backdrop tab on the side and then make sure the projection type is set to front. And um, then I'm going to change my uh, view here to front view. So I'm just going to uh, press control space on the keyboard and uh, then I'm going to select front. Okay, so there we've got our wine glass. And another thing I like to do is just to change the opacity of this backdrop. So uh, in the properties here on the side, uh, yeah, if you go down there, you'll see transparency. And I'm just going to set that to about 80%. I usually like to work with uh, something like this. And um, then I'm just going to move this to the center. As you can see, it's not on that axis. So I'm just going to move it across something like that. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go out of the move and then I'm going to go into my mesh that I uh, just an uh, empty mesh and then just make sure that you're on your basic tab here on the side and here where the pen tool where you find the pen tool if you click and hold you need to select your Bezier curve and then I'm just going to zoom in here a bit and then I'm going to start drawing around this wine glass so I'm going to start right here at the bottom and then you can just basically click and drag click and drag and as you can see this uh, curve is currently closed so you on the side just untick close i just find it a bit easier to work this way and um, then you can basically just go ahead and kind of trace around this wine glass so i'm just going to go like that and let's put a point there straighten that out a bit uh let's do one around there around the curve so i'm just going to go through this fairly quickly something like that okay get to the top and i'm just going to do a little bit of a curve Come back down try and keep this as close as possible this is obviously the thickness of the glass so let's just go down here down here and kind of to the center somewhere there and then you want to go down the middle um, and obviously you don't want to cross that axis line so just try and stay on the right hand side and then just um, click on a area close to your original vertex that you created and then you just click on close and that will automatically just close um, that pen tool or uh, that spline basically. Okay, so then I'm just going to zoom out here and um, now I'm going to hide my backdrop. So let's just switch that off and then I'm going to go into perspective view. So basically that's what we have. Okay, we've got a spline and then you just go to your duplicate tab here on the side and click on radial sweep and make sure that's set to Y and I've set the count to 32. That's pretty good. And then you basically just click in the viewport and you'll see that you will have your wine glass. Cool. So you can obviously set this count. Um, you can change this interactively, the amount of sides that your wine glass will have. So I usually set this to around 32 or you can even go up to 64. Um, okay, that's looking pretty good. So let's go to our render tab and see how this thing looks like. So let's just zoom out here a bit and let's just apply a quick material. So I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard and I'm first going to set my environment. So under environments and indoor, I'm just going to double click on this one uh, just to set that as our environment. And then I'm going to go to materials. Let's just expand that, go to glass. And I'm just going to try the second one. Just drag and drop that onto your glass. And there you go. That's how simple it is to create a wine glass using Modo. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.